Hi everyone, welcome. I am Maggie of Maggie'sBliss.com and we're here for our quickie collective reading with the Oracle decks. I have a couple of decks with me today. I have angels, gods, goddesses. I know it's a little backwards, a um, little lot. It's backwards. Tony, Carmine, Salerno. In case you're interested in this, that'll be the second deck. The first deck is light codes. Oh my god. So it's magical dimensions, oracle, and activations by light star. And in these that I'm about to show you are activated. They're activated to help with the more challenging aspects of whatever's coming up within the cards, within the energies. But I do have to say the main thing that's coming through right now very much so is it's Lionsgate. And I'm telling you, it's major Lionsgate. It's not just plain small Lionsgate. This is big Lionsgate energy. So that's from, and it starts, and let me just explain what that is in case you don't know. Um, and I have a link. I'm gonna, I forgot to put it in the description here, but I will share it and, and I will change it. If you're watching this later, it'll be in the main post and then I'll put it as a comment as well. Lionsgate is, so I have an article on my website, so that's what I'm gonna share. Lionsgate is and a galactic alignment that happens every year from July 26th to August 12th. And in this alignment, it hit, hits its peak on August 8th. So 8-8, eight, eight, abundance portal, yes. So the Lion's Gate energy, it's the earth, it's the sun, it's star Sirius in alignment, all coming to its peak in alignment with the galactic heart center. Oh my gosh, I'm so blind right now. Hi, Lorna. The name was a little blurry. Um, so, with Lionsgate happening right now, and I don't know if you felt it, I always feel it just before it starts uh, for the full moon, for any kind of energies that are coming in, usually, of course, so that I can share this with all of you. Um, and it's just so powerful, let me tell you. So, it's making and manifestation way and hi Maricela and making manifestation way 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 faster so when you put your all into something it's going to happen be careful what you wish for but <laughs> what's meant to be will be so right when you do your intention just say I send it up to you and I would love for this to happen for my highest of us good right and then you like envision it to happen you feel the energy it's coming in and for me just having that extra connection in Sedona and uh, it's just a powerful time we're selling our home in Casa Grande we are officially going to be Sedona residents very shortly uh, full-time I've been there a, a lot since we moved to Arizona of course I'm, I can't even count how many times, so now I'm going to be a 24-7 person there. That's happening all during Lionsgate. We're signing the lease during Lionsgate, actually on my 16-year uh, wedding anniversary, so it's like pretty intense energies, <laughs> and we eloped in Sedona, so it's pretty cool. My daughter's middle name is Sedona, um, but all of the wonderful things aside with Sedona for me, it's coming into perfect alignment with where our souls are meant to be now. And the calling came so extra strong, and I really, uh, Bell Rock is my favorite, so that it, it, for me, it has an extra special connection. Although I've had major connections and magic happening on all the vortexes, right? That one really calls to me. So I sat with it. I said, you know, sent it out there for what's meant to be, and who is meant to be? So you can do that wherever you are on the planet, right? We're all meant to be somewhere where we're meant to be there, when we're meant to be there, and we're always there, even if we don't know it. But when you start to feel ungrounded somewhere, and you, you're like, I don't feel like I'm here anymore. I feel like I need to like stop doing certain things that would make it make people think that I'm here all the time and um, that I'm, I'm not gonna be here forever. So for me, it, something that important comes up two to three years before and I start to feel the energy shifting and the the, cra the crazy ungroundedness of a place and space and then it comes next that oh guess what we're going to that space and place and um and it's happening so and and that's other things are manifesting so much quicker minutes I'm telling you you put it out there it's minutes the Lyran energy comes in strong with um the lion's gate they're aligned with Sirius it's it's a whole thing. You can read 
Uh, but the Lyrans are here to help us manifest abundance, prosperity, and get us into alignment. And Star Sirius, uh, the minute it hits its peak, especially on August 8th, right? It's in that perfect, beautiful alignment with the Galactic Heart Center. It's bringing in more and more intense frequencies, vibrations, light codes, and energies than ever before. It's influx of energy that's coming now and on that day and a few days after. And then we have the full moon on the 11th. So it's going to be powerful. We're we often feel that full moon energy three days before, three days after. So August 8th, <laughs> August 11th. We're gonna, but it's Leo energy. Leo is the lion, so that's why it's called Lion's Gate. And Leo is heart. It's always of the heart, right? And that is totally in alignment with the Lion's Gate energy, that cosmic alignment, because we're to align with our heart's desire, but where our heart's meant to be, whether it's location, job, a person, a thing, like we're, what we're meant to do as a soul's mission, we're coming more and more into that deeper alignment with that. So, with that being said, um, I had some dental work yesterday. I almost didn't come on live today, but I was like, no, I have to. I have to share everything so that anyone who's not in the know is in the know. So, like, my face is a little swollen. <clears throat> anyway, so I might be talking weird too, but for now it seems normal. So. Um, intense energies, but it's it was removing, right? Uh, removing uh, something um, that wasn't working in my body. So yeah, uh, really cool. Um, all good things, right? So healing will be faster if that's where you're setting your intention and perfect alignment, right? So what I, what I pulled from the Light Codes deck, remember these are light coded, so look at the deck, look at the card. I'm gonna read it first, it's a number 25 card, reduces seven numerology, it's a very mystical, powerful number. Uh, my favorite number, right? Isolation is the card, it's loneliness, oh my gosh, reconnection and home. And so this is, there's gonna be a lot of that. Feeling like you're alone, but you're not. And then, also twofold needing that alone time a lot of empaths need that but you need that alone time so that you can um really come into alignment without distraction without the outer world and anyone's opinions come into alignment for you this is about you this lion's gate so come into alignment i gotta itch my my face come into alignment with being alone send your call out to the universe. I see that full moon. So this really tells me, right? Oh, there's light light beings in, in this, this deck that you, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it behind the wolf. But you're sending your call out to the universe, your intentions. And in, in order to do that pure of heart, get alone. Isolate yourself, but be okay with being alone for a while. Um, because I, right over the span of my life, I've loved being alone and I love my alone time and you have to love yourself. So take this alone time, align your intentions pure of heart, drop into that heart center and send it out there to the universe. Then I see very much so 39 number, right? Reduces to 12, which is three. And three is the triquatra. It is the three phases of the moon. It's the maiden, mother, and crone. It's that beautiful tri like triangle energy coming in now, but it's the third eye portal card vision clairvoyance and clarity and confusion right so it could be clear vision or it could be confusion this card is going to help you look at it it's got light codes so many so powerful and it reminds me when i gave birth to my daughter and i saw uh during labor i saw a beautiful flower that was purple with yellow on the inside isn't that interesting i just thought of that so look at this card and allow it to clear your vision. This is actually activating you right now. So look at it and enjoy your third eye being cleansed, right? Close your eyes and right after you look at it, but and when you're alone, close your eyes and allow your eyes from, with your eyes closed to gaze up to your third eye. This in yoga, this is something I do and when I'm teaching yoga to people, right? We um, gaze up and allow, it allows your third eye to really clear cleanse send energy there uh, one thing that I do I don't know if anyone has ever done this hot coffee like if you have your coffee or your tea put it up that hotness that warmth activates the third eye get out in the Sun when it's sunny out and, and allow it to just clear you up right but that clarity is coming in when you get yourself alone for a little while 
get yourself alone for a little while, and then tune into your third eye to get more vision and clarity that is also ushering in right now with this lion's gate. Intense. It's telling you where you need to be, when you need to be there, what you need to do, how you need to do it. Manifest healing, manifest love, career, location, where you're meant to go. So enjoy that because this intense energy will start to settle after lion's gate, but see where it is now and allow tune into the energy now so that you like a lightning bolt is what i'm seeing a lightning bolt allowing it to make manifest your wishes and desires and then we have the exiled card it's a 14 card which reduces to five in numerology it's change and transformation as well as abundance it's earth air fire water and spirit bringing all the elements together in this card it says exiled illusion of separation disconnect isolation so grab yourself some fluorite for your soul pathing st right stone. Grab yourself some uh, beautiful garnet to help you ground because it's an illusion that you're alone. Really allow yourself to connect here. <sighs> it's always an illusion. This card is to remind you that we are all one, we are all connected, and we have help from above. Our higher self, our I am presence, the angels, the archangels, the star beings, the elementals, the fairies, our spirit guides, everyone, our team is always with us. When you feel like too alone, it's not you going into isolation like, like this card, right? This card saying, yes, get alone so you can get connected, tune back into your third eye and get clarity. This card is reminding you that you're not alone, you're never alone, and you're going to always be connected. But allow yourself to really ground into Gaia. Send your golden tree roots into Gaia connect then send your light up to the sun so that you feel the, the light, new light codes right frequencies vibrations coming in right now from Gaia into you as a pillar of light in into Gaia so you anchor that into Gaia but allow yourself to remember that you are always connected it's an illusion and then know that you're always fully supported by the universe right and then allow your heart to expand in that way this beautiful frequency vibration from this card is really sending you transformation energy this is a powerful powerful time allow yourself to enjoy this transformation shifts are happening so fast i told you when i first started this live minutes so one final thing from the angels this is the angel deck angels gods and goddesses and it's all about your nutrition, angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. And I have to tell you, this card is for me too. <laughs> I've been eating like uh, some not so great things the past couple of weeks. It's just been insane. So this is reminding me to get back on track, which has been my goal. And I get back on track and you lose it, but you get back on that horse again. So see this card? You're there, you're in alignment, you're healthy, you're vibrant, and allow the different things in your body. Everybody's body's different. You'll get recommendations, but it might not resonate with your body. So see what, what's right for your body, what feels good. And we know that the more organic it is, the better and more it will feel amazing. Like I have my smoothie waiting for me, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, um, beautiful natural organic powder that comes in to add a little tiny chocolate flavor to it but and then so I'm doing the uh, oh yes this is why it came up I'm doing the medical mediums metal detox smoothie and I do that all the time but I added the extra elements like and you can google this so he, he even shows you on YouTube like how to do it real fast but the medical mediums metal detox smoothie is so great if you've had the vaccine and you want to detox get rid of that crap do it if you've um you just you ate like not so great right do the medical medium <laughs> metal detox smoothie and and also a celery smoothie is great too i resist but i'm trying on the the, the celery one but i'm, I'm trying because it's so good for your body so um, it has three extra ingredients that I didn't mention, but I also just just because it's good for you too I add nutmeg cayenne ginger and cinnamon and then the three element and then everything blended together makes the other three ingredients from the metal detox smoothies It's like a seaweed thing and a spirulina thing and something else three things and you'll get the it's right right away Google that medical medium metal detox smoothie. It's yummy. You just um 
<laughs> add some extra things if, if it's too too much for you. But it's so good for your body. You'll be near a bathroom when you have it <laughs> so that you can release. But hopefully this has helped you ease into lion's gate. Maybe you're already feeling it. If you're like me, you've already been well into these energies right now and it's been pretty insane. But hopefully um, I wish you a peaceful, smooth transition through these these like very transformational times. Get outside every day. Soak up the light coats that are coming in extra strong from the Lion's Gate energy. Beautiful portal energy. Have an amazing rest of your, what's today? Thursday. Oh my God, it's Thursday. In Mune. Blessed be.